watching the trust and belief that you have in the electoral college dropout channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Hey, what is up? What's happening? What is going on? Thank you again so much for joining me on yet another video. So in the last video, if you saw it like you should have, we went ahead and addressed, did a little body kit type thing that was for the side skirts now i want to make the front lip match the side skirts because that only makes sense so for the side skirts we use a flat piece of one by three and that's why we have this shape right there that little angle and then we have a angle coming down now i want the front to match but we can't just use a flat piece because we have these contours coming around so we can't just do that so today i'm going to try to go ahead and figure out and show you exactly what you need to do to make your own front lip using wood and fiberglass. So we have the bumper on the front of the car and fortunately that's a different bumper than what I had originally. My original bumper is right here so now I can use the old bumper as mock-up for this lip. So this is that contour that I was talking about and all front bumpers are gonna have this. So the way that I want to work around this entire thing is by putting a whole bunch of pieces of wood all the way around it and then I have it at a similar angle so this is flat right here flat at the bottom and this is gonna go just like that and how I ended up making this is I just have everything set up right here same angle everything just push that up get this going and I'm just making a whole bunch of these so that way we can work all the way around get this at a similar angle to the side skirts and once we get those all the way around i'm going to go ahead and use tape just like i did on the side skirts a lot of this is going to be a lot of repeated stuff except we're doing this for the lip So really quickly, we can already start to see it taking shape. And one thing is, I did this about a 33 degree angle. Now, if this was a 45 degree angle, this it doesn't matter what the angle is. If it's the same angle on the top and not the bottom, whatever you're mounting it to, it's gonna stay parallel with the earth or it's gonna stay the same relationship with the earth. So I believe it was pretty flat on the bottom of the lip. Now it's gonna be like this. So as you can see, that's gonna be the bottom of the bumper. That's gonna be flat to the earth, but now, we want to take a small piece just like this. So this is at the bottom of the bumper. This is parallel with the earth. And then we want to run another piece right there. So that way it looks like that. That's what this piece is right here. Then we're going to fill in all the gaps with tape and then start to fiberglass. have both planes or both angles going on meaning the one that comes out then the one that goes down as you can see everything is looking pretty good and also I have this angled in just a bit because that's gonna come this way right there angled in I'm also gonna get a triangle piece for right there so don't worry about that so now that it's all taped up I want to go ahead and get the aluminum tape going because the aluminum tape and the resin works a lot better than the resin soaking into this orange tape so that's the next step, the aluminum foil tape, and then we'll go into mixing and then we'll go into mixing the resin, laying out the fiberglass, what type of mat I want to use and why. So now that it's time to go ahead and start to get my resin mixed up, I want to start to think about what kind of mat I'm going to use and how I'm going to approach it. But before I want to go into that, I just want to just talk about resin really quick. I went over this in the last video, but if you're new here and you didn't see that, for every one ounce of resin that I'm going to do, I'm going to do 10 drops of hardener. I'll probably mix it up maybe 8 ounces, 80 drops, and that seems to work pretty good for me. So now the actual mat, what I'm going to use first 
is I'm just gonna use this regular mat. This is like a nice tight weave. This isn't so thick, so it's really easy to work with. I like to do this for the first layer on something like this that has a bunch of corners. When it's a big flatter area, I prefer to use I prefer to use this thicker chop because you have to do less layers when you're using the thicker chop but for this I want to go with the mat first after we get the initial layer on there then I'll go into the chop so I'm going to go ahead and paint out the resin then start laying them down working them one by one What I went ahead and I did is I just did two layers of that regular mat. I didn't use any of the chop just because right now it feels solid enough and just that's one thing. My plan was to do a layer of the chop but after stepping back feeling it out after two layers I think that it's going to be good enough as it is. So that's another thing. You got to change and adjust as you go. If it feels solid it's probably solid. So now I went ahead and I unscrewed all the wood from underneath. Now we're just going to go ahead and try to work it off. Now that it's off the bumper and trust me it did fight a little bit but overall it's all good it's here we have the shape that we need so the next thing that i want to do is i want to just trim away the initial hairs and all the stuff that i know for sure is going to be gone once i get that trimmed up then we'll put it back on the car or on the car actually for the first time i'm going to use a sharpie kind of see what lines i want to put where then we'll trim it again once it's all trimmed up then we can start adding a couple more layers and as you're doing this cutting fiberglass if you're in an enclosed area or if you're going to be cutting a lot of it i would definitely recommend wearing a respirator if you're just going to make like one or two cuts do whatever you want really Now that we have it sitting on the car for the very first time, I wanted to pull it out and get a really good look at it. See how I felt about it in comparison to the side skirts. Everything looks really good. The shape is the same as far as on the side skirts. There's that little flat section that's carried all the way through to the front. So if you're making anything like this, a front lip or side skirts or anything for that matter, you gotta realize this is just the first 10%. We gotta get the shape and that's exactly what we have right here. The rest of the work is going to come soon. So that's gonna be it for this one, you guys. I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.
I'm out.